What up, y'all? So, uh, let me, let me let me wait to this idiot. Let me tell y'all something. When I be doing what I be doing, I be seeing people doing like like lately. I be seeing people do stuff around me like that that don't make no sense. Like I be like, get the hell out my way. The devil controls these people's minds, y'all. I'm telling you. Now I gotta pick up at this place right here, way out in the suburbs, someplace, right? So I get here. I haven't picked the food up yet, but. Look what's right over here. You see what we got? A 144 with an upside down nine on the side. Right, right at the front, as soon as I pull in to pick up from this place right here. So I figured this was, I, I, I guess the spirit wanted me to get, uh, tell y'all this story. Because I wasn't going to tell the story. I had just dropped off some food from somewhere else, y'all, about two minutes ago before I got to this next location. And I'm going to tell y'all straight up, man, I'm, I'm sick of these buck, uh, these buck dancing uh, Negroes in these blue states. They all doing the same job, sitting at the front desk, you know, work, working for uh, whoever owns the building, which probably nobody because people don't own nothing no more. It's all, everything is corporation and AI. So technically nobody that owns anything, but, uh, now y'all know I, I got assaulted by Bonquisha, what, about two two nights ago? So y'all know once once I see another buck, buck dancing Negro, I'm already on edge. Like I, I I like I know this mother better not say nothing or do nothing crazy to me. Right? Because these these Negro these Negro women don't actually respect black men in this place. And why should they? Especially the devil's done such a good job at making us uh look like shit. I don't de that's why I don't deal with a lot of Americans. Not just not just black women. I don't deal I will I don't want to deal with no American women that much either. Ninety nine percent of American women are no good for me. They're in total opposition of what my what my will is and what God's will is for them. Total opposition, one hundred percent. Ninety nine point nine percent of them. So I'm not playing games with nobody. This ain't this ain't a rant about black women either. This is a rant about these nine to five slaves, whatever color they may be. So I didn't just came fresh all getting assaulted by by a woman, right? Because see, if I had a if I had a girlfriend or wife, I would have had to hold her back, you know. As a matter of fact, I, I joke. I say, I you know, I need I need a the only reason I need a woman is to go beat other bitches' ass for me, because I can't do nothing. I can't do nothing, right? <laughs> but anyway, so this black woman, I'm sitting the food down. First of all, I have to wait another seven minutes. Somebody else is playing games with me, and even though the sun is out. So I waited, I wait seven minutes and then I'm about to go leave the food on the inside of the door. Black Negro woman jumps up out of her seat and the way she told me to get, you know, pick the bag up and bring it in, I didn't like it. And when, when she called a glissy, people don't know how old I am. They don't, yeah, from the surface, I look like I could be some 20 something year old, but it don't matter how old I look. The bottom line is these black Negro women do not uh, actually respect black men in America, okay? They don't actually respect it before they even, they don't even know who you are. Or unless they see you on TV, they don't give a damn about you. So this Negro woman to come tell me, pick, I did, already I did not like the energy. She told me, I, like, if a Negro woman approaches me and she don't have a smile on her face and she's shaking her head or, or, or in, in any, if I, if I detect any kind of uh, sassiness or negativity, you know what I'm saying? But they, women are intu intuitive. They may be naive, but they ain't stupid. Because when I looked up and, and looked at this Negro woman who was, you know, telling me, to, you know, get the bag and put it in here. Well, that frown turned into a smile. And then I put the bag on top of the table. Then she kind of went into a rant. I, tell she, I could tell she was scared. And whatever rant she went in, I just told her because I don't give a damn. And then she laughed it off and said, have a nice day, sir. See, now, now they want to say, sir. Why do you gotta scare people for them to treat you right? That's why I like what Shaquille O'Neal said back in the day. Shaquille O'Neal once made a statement. He said, I'd rather be feared by people than loved. I don't need nobody's love. You know, you guys, and this is to y'all too. You know why you don't need nobody's love? Because the only person you need to love is yourself. Hell, Whitney Houston even told you that in the song. I don't need no love for nobody else but myself and God Almighty, which he's already shown me that I am loved. From the, from the anointing. So now I don't need love for nobody. But she quickly, she went from 
thinking she was going to talk to me a certain way. She got, I mean, she got stopped dead in her tracks just by me looking at, and I got my sunglasses on. She don't even see my eyes. But I said something to her. I told her, I don't give a damn. And she actually smiled, laughed it off and said, have a nice day, sir. Think about it, y'all. Uh, empath. And I got to treat people like shit just to treat me and talk to me the way I'm supposed to be spoken to.